Hello everyone, this is the software general installation tutorial for our Raspberry Pi robot product. First, we need to prepare the Raspberry Pi, driver board, SD card, card reader, and power cable. Remote control of the Raspberry Pi requires the software PuTTY. Download address is as follows. Install PuTTY. Then go to this website to download the Dix Imaging Tool, Win32 Dix Imager. After installing it, log in to the Raspberry Pi official website to download the image file of the Raspberry Pi system. We need to install the full version of Raspbian. Unzip after downloading. Insert the SD card into the card reader and connect the card reader to the computer. Remember the drive letter of the SD card. Run the Win32 Dix Imager. Click on the folder image. Find out the image file that was unzipped before. Open it. Confirm whether the drive letter of the SD card is the same as the device selected here. Confirm everything's OK? Click Write. Wait a few minutes. Now the Raspberry Pi system is being burned into the Raspberry Pi. At the same time, you can start preparing the Raspberry Pi to open SSH and automatically connect to Wi-Fi files. Create a new file named SSH. Do not with any suffix, neither content. It can enable Raspberry Pi to turn on SSH service. You need this service to remotely control Raspberry Pi. Create a new WPA underscore supplicant.txt file and write the following content where Wi Fi is replaced with your Wi Fi name and password is replaced with your Wi Fi password. Save. Change the suffix of this file to .conf. Now the Raspberry Pi system should be burned. Open the root directory of the SD card. Copy the two newly created files to the SD card. Take out the card reader. Insert the SD card into the Raspberry Pi. It can be powered by USB or by using a battery pack. Switch on the Raspberry Pi driver board. Raspberry Pi will start, and it may take a while. We need to know the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Download the network scanner on the phone. Open it. Find out the Raspberry Pi Foundation and get the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Then run PuTTY, fill in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and click Open. The first connection will pop up a dialog box. Select Yes. Here we need to log in to the Raspberry Pi. The default username is Pi, default password is Raspberry. When you enter your password, it doesn't appear on the screen, but that doesn't mean you didn't enter it successfully. After entering the password, press Enter. Now we can remotely control the Raspberry Pi. First of all, we need to download the program of the robot product. Here we take Restank as an example. Enter the command sudo git clone plus the project address. Note that all commands here require a lowercase input, and Linux is case sensitive. Enter. You can see Raspberry Pi start downloading the relevant files of the project. After the download is complete, enter the list command and press Enter. You can see a folder with the same name and project. Means the program is downloaded. Enter the command sudo python3 project folder name slash setup.py. The installation process in the Raspberry Pi may last for several hours. You can minimize this terminal window first. When the Raspberry Pi software is installed, it will disconnect the SSH connection with the computer and restart automatically. You will get a prompt dialog box indicating that the connection is broken, which means the software installation is complete. Then install the software needed on the computer. If you don't have Python 3 installed on your computer, you need to download the Python 3 installation package from the official website of Python. When installing Python, remember to check Add Python to Path. After installing Python, open CMD, press Win and R on the keyboard 
type CMD and click OK. Next, install NumPy. Enter the command pipe free install NumPy. NumPy's full name, Numerical Python, is an extension of the Python language that supports a large number of dimensional arrays and metric operations. It's required for OpenCV. Go to this website to download the OpenCV underscore Python dot wheel file. Here you need to manually fill in the dot wheel file you need to find after the URL. Fill in hash OpenCV at the end of the address. Enter. The web page will automatically display the location to OpenCV. Find the wheel that suits your system digits and Python version, usually the latest version. Download this .wheel file. Remember this path in CMD. Copy the .wheel file you just downloaded to this path so you can install it directly in the terminal. Enter the command pipe 3 install OpenCV in CMD and press tab. It will automatically fill in the remaining names. Press enter. Wait a minute. OpenCV installation is complete. Then install the dependent libraries needed for live video. Enter the command pipe free install zmq pipe a64 in CMD. Close CMD after installation is complete. Open the browser. Download the program of the robot product. Take REST tank as an example. Enter the project address. Click the green button, clone or download. Download zip. Download project compressed package. Unzip. Run the GUI.py file in the client folder. Some products have a GUI.py file named after the project name. Double click to run. If a flashback occurs, you need to run this file in the CMD to see the specific error message. After the Raspberry Pi is installed, it will restart automatically. At this time, for products with multiple servers, the servo port will send a signal to rotate the servo to the middle position. Connect the servo wire to the servo port. The servo will rotate to middle position and then install the rocker arm of the servo at the angle shown in the assembly menu. If the rocker arm does not turn, you need to specify the problem. Open PuTTY, enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, log in. Before running server.py, you need to end the Python 3 program that may already be running in the program. Enter sudo qr python3, enter and the Python 3 program running in the background, and then run server.py Enter the command sudo python3 project folder name slash server slash server.py Enter. See if it reports an error. The problem we have encountered often is the prompt no module named cv2. This is because OpenCV did not install successfully and the program failed to initialize. There is a certain probability that installing OpenCV via pipe will prompt no matching distribution found for OpenCV Python. You can refer to these two poses. In the future, we will also update the tutorial to build the Raspberry Pi into an NAS server, which can be used to quickly develop programs or manually download the OpenCV will file and copy it to the Raspberry Pi. After the mechanical assembly is complete, install the battery and turn it on. Wait a moment. When the LED light on the Raspberry Pi turns red, it means that the Raspberry Pi has established a server waiting for the client to connect. Run the GUI.py file in the client folder on the computer, filling the IP address in the IP address. Click Connect. Now you can control your robot. You can add your favorite features to our base code, create your own branch on GitHub. We also welcome you to pull requests together to create more interesting open source hardware.